You know the famous saying by John Muir, right? The one that states, the mountains are calling and I must go. Well, spend some time here and you'll understand exactly what that means. Welcome to Olympic National Park, one of this country's greatest treasures. Diversity reigns supreme here. In its nearly one million acres of sheer beauty, Olympic National Park, located in the northwestern corner of Washington State on the Olympic Peninsula, has three distinct personalities, rainforest, beaches with forests, and mountains. And there are more than 600 miles of trails just beckoning you to come and explore. The Olympic National Park Main Visitor Center should be your first stop before you set off on your adventure. There are natural and cultural history exhibits, a hands-on discovery room for the kids, an orientation film, a bookstore, a few short trails, and helpful rangers. Once sufficiently educated, you will be ready to go. While there is so much to see, and do in Olympic National Park, here are some of the highlights. The Ho Rain Forest is like stepping into an enchanted fairy tale. It's lush and green where a canopy of moss and ferns covers everything. Thanks to the 140 plus inches of rain this area receives every year. It is the best remaining example of temperate rainforest in the United States, and it's a park hotspot. You'll want to start your adventure in the Ho Rainforest Visitor Center to see the exhibits and speak to the park rangers. There are two shorter loop hikes that are about a mile each. The Hall of Moss's Trail and the Spruce Nature Trail. You'll be awed by the massive spruces, maples and firs draped all in moss. It's otherworldly. If you'd like to spend more time and go further, there is a 17 mile hike called the Ho River Trail. Hiking up Hurricane Hill to Hurricane Ridge offers stunning views and is easily the most accessible mountain area in the park. There are many different types of trails for hiking, cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, and sledding. The lakes and valleys just add to the picturesque scene. Two of the easier trails include the half-mile round-trip Big Meadow Trail and the mile-long round-trip Cirque Rim. Both of these are paved and offer spectacular views. With 73 miles of wilderness coast, there are lots of beach options to check out. One favorite place to go in the park is Kalalak, on the southwest coast. If you love birds, you'll definitely want to spend some time here. These protected waters provide a safe home for nesting and feeding birds, like western gulls, bald eagles, and tufted puffins, just to name a few. There's marine life to see too. Spotting harbor seals and porpoises is common. There's a mile-long nature trail through the forest and lots of beach trails. Did I mention the views? <laughs> Again, it's gorgeous here. Ruby Beach is home to the famous towering rock formations in the surf. The tide pools and massive driftwood makes this one of the prettiest beaches 
anywhere. Rialto Beach is another coastal area that offers dramatic scenery and abundant marine life. Other beaches that are popular spots to photograph are the first, second, and third beaches in La Push. You are also able to camp there. Lake Crescent is a crystal clear lake, glacially carved thousands of years ago. It's 624 feet deep in some places. This is a true gem in the north end of the park. Popular activities around Lake Crescent include boating, camping, and hiking. Interestingly, this lake has two kinds of fish found nowhere else, Beardsley and Crescenti Trout. A two-mile round-trip hike can take you to Merrimere Falls which is a 90-foot waterfall. And if you get hungry along the way, stop in at Granny's Cafe for a quick bite. It has the feel of a small town, cozy diner. Top it off with a piece of their blackberry pie a la mode, and you'll be fueled up to continue your adventures in the park. The Lake Crescent Lodge, built in 1915, offers rooms, cottages, and cozy cabins with fireplaces. FDR stayed here in 1937, and a year later, he designated Olympic as a national park. An easy mile-long hike can bring you to Soul Duck Valley and the Soul Duck Falls Overlook. The first part of the falls is smaller, with rocks and moss. If you continue on, you'll see the main falls. The Solduck rivers are filled with coho salmon that travel to the lakes and headwaters of the mountains. In the fall, you can see the salmon leaping over the falls from the Salmon Cascades Overlook. You can also take a soak in the hot springs at the Solduck Resort. Staircase is in the southeastern corner of the park and is covered with huge Douglas fir trees. There are lots of trails that you can take throughout the forest, over a bridge, and to several lakes. Many visitors say the shorter trails are great for families with young kids. Make sure to bring your swimsuit to enjoy a summer dip in the many lakes along the trails. For a truly relaxing stop, head to Lake Quinault located along the Quinault Rainforest Loop Drive, and be sure to check out the world's largest Sitka spruce tree. This beauty is over 1,000 years old and stands at a towering 191 feet tall. If you're looking for a place to stay, the Rainforest Resort Village and the Lake Quinault Lodge both overlook the lake, or you can dine in the historic Roosevelt Dining Room. If ever a place could be called God's country, this is it. And these mountains, they're calling your name. Come hear what they have to tell you at Olympic National Park. Thanks for watching Shore Me Some More. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story about the shores, outdoors, and more.